Now I'm getting the feeling that no matter where we travel to, no matter how far we go down the coast of Vietnam, that it's just gonna keep raining. Now I'm a pretty optimistic guy and I keep saying to myself, tomorrow's gonna be sunny until I looked at the forecast. Rain, 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 rain every single day until the day that we're leaving central Vietnam. <laughs> when we decided to come to Way, there was just two things that we wanted to do here. The number one reason, which is completely not dependent on the weather, is to eat. Hue is known for its amazing food culture, and the reason for that is because it used to be the ancient capital. This is where they used to feed emperors and princesses and queens and all kinds of royalties. We have made a list of all the dishes that we think that we should try while we're here. It's not very long. We've got six dishes on here. Luckily, almost every single restaurant on every single corner serves all of these dishes. So, this is Bun Lock. It's described as being a clear dumpling, which you can see, filled with shrimp and sliced pork belly. It looks pretty delicious. It's kind of like a type of dim sum, but Vietnamese style. After they've mixed the paste of rice flour and filled it with shrimp and pork, it's placed into a banana leaf, which is then steamed in a tube. It's so unique, and I've never had anything like this before. It's served with fish sauce. We're just gonna dip that in a little bit. Here goes nothing. I'm really unsure about it. Mm. Mm. I gotta agree with you, I'm on the fence about this one. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet. This dish is bandeo, and this is very uniquely Huayan. We've seen this dish on the menu of every place, and it's a must try when coming here to Hue. It's made up of a rice paste at the bottom that's gelatinous, and added on top of it is pork rind, I believe that's some type of fish flake, and some green onion. This one is served cold, so I'm intrigued to see what it tastes like, because I'm not normally a huge fan of cold food. This one I can get behind. Oh my goodness. Mm. I think what makes it is the green onion, which just adds this brightness to it. And it's got a really fatty flavor as well, too. I just poured a little fish sauce in the bowl, and now I'm gonna eat it. Oh, wow. That is really good. <laughs> the fish sauce is delicious with that. That is so, so good. This dish is bun kwai, and it's very similar to bun seo, which is a dish that we ate pretty much every single day we were in Hanoi. And this one here is made with rice flour, turmeric, sparkling water, and it's served with some, looks like shrimp, and some fatty pork pieces. Now these dishes come with rice wrappers here, and they are designed to be placed into the rice wrapper with some fresh vegetables, wrapped up, although normally you wouldn't butcher the wrap like I did here, and then dipped in peanut sauce. Here goes nothing. Mmm. It is different than bunseo. So bunseo is usually served like a really flat, thin, crispy pancake. This batter is puffy and kind of soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. Really, really delicious. And unlike a lot of the peanut sauces we've tried here so far, this one's not too fishy. It's got some sesame seeds in it. So.
it's hard to think of a dish that's more way in, way in, why in, we in, you in. It's hard to think of a dish that's more interconnected with the city that it originated from than Boon Bo Wei. Now, Boon Bo Wei literally translates to Huey Beef Noodle Soup. Now, it's prepared in a very similar manner to other popular Vietnamese noodle soup, pho. However, in Boon Bo Wei, the noodles are also rice, but they're round. And the dish is typically served with coagulated pork blood, and the broth is much spicier. It's something that we've been... We've been waiting specifically to get to the city of Hue to try it. Oh yeah, it's got more body. I can taste like, taste almost like a little bit more tomato. Not particularly spicy though. I was expecting a little bit more. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit of the blood. That's strange. I don't know how to describe it. It's very metallic. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't think I'll be eating any more of that. Oh. I've heard you either love it or you hate it. I'm leaning to more towards the not loving it side right now. <laughs> it's hard to focus on eating when you have a cat in your lap, but it feels more like home when we were eating. <laughs> kind of miss this. <laughs> She's so cute. I could go for a dining experience like this every day. This is better than any cat cafe we've ever been to. Oh wow, those fresh herbs add so much herbaceousness to it. It really complements like the lemongrass texture of it already. I've been told that it's been described as citronella, which I can agree with, but it's very sweet. Many of these Vietnamese soups are served with multiple different condiments that you're supposed to put in and sometimes some of them are good, some of them maybe don't complement the palate that we're looking for. But I can tell you that every single one of these ones that are offered today, including green onions, chilies, and these beautiful greens, are amazing and they add so much more uniqueness to the flavor and you can really... might be more iconic than bumbo way is bun or com hen. Com hen is traditionally made up with rice and baby clams or baby mussels depending on who you ask. This dish is iconic to way. You have to mix it all up. There are lots of little fixings in it uh, including peanuts and what looks like papaya or mango to us and it's served with copious amounts of hot things. They also serve it with some broth that you're supposed to drink with it that are supposed to help it all go down. So we better start mixing this up before we get yelled at. I'm gonna try the traditional calm hen first. I've got a good bite here of rice, peanuts, and fresh vegetables. Mm. Oh wow. I was a little bit maybe apprehensive when I smelt the clams but it tastes amazing. Like every great Vietnamese dish, there is so many fresh vegetables in this. Mm. I could eat a whole bowl of that. I'm gonna have to try the pork crackling. It's perfect. Who doesn't love a great fatty, chunky, crispy piece of pork? So I'm gonna try the bun hen, which is essentially the exact same thing as the calm hen, but instead of being served with rice, it's served with noodles instead. It looks and smells very, very good. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. There's a ton of flavor in this. So many different flavors together. When I took my first bite of noodles, I could really only taste the like Asian barbecue sauce flavor. As soon as I got a mouthful of the clams and the mint, it absolutely smacked me, me in the face. Very, very strong salt forward flavor and the mint just like really tops it off. Incredible amount of flavor in my mouth. Now 
it wouldn't be right to complete a DIY food tour in any Vietnamese city without getting Vietnamese coffee. But particularly here in the city of Hue, there seems to be a very, very strong coffee culture here. There's three or four cafes on literally every corner and only one of them we've seen has actually been a chain. So it does lead us to believe that an independent coffee house can succeed here in this city. This cafe is particularly interesting. So we're actually sitting in like a redesigned coffee cup here. Really, really cool thing. It kind of feels like going on one of those Disney ride teacups. Like this should spin, right? So what I've gotten today is a local Vietnamese coffee with milk. And here they actually use condensed milk instead of regular milk. So it definitely adds like an extra sweet and flavor to it. Now, we're not really trying these drinks for the first time, so bear with us. We already know these drinks are gonna be good, but we just thought it would be right to, to share with you guys. Oh, it's so sweet, it's so good though. Now Kirsten's drink here, I'm gonna try it first. We got essentially the same thing. So this is a Vietnamese coffee with milk. So mine is local. Hers is Vietnamese coffee. I'm honestly not sure what the difference is and I'm not even gonna hazard a guess here, but this one is served hot. Cheers. Oh. Oh. It's really strong. So one thing we've noticed here in Vietnam as well is the coffee is served incredibly strong. So that's why the condensed milk is kind of needed to bring the intensity and the acidity of the coffee down a little bit to uh, deal with the palate of someone like We couldn't end the night without having one more carvelicious, fried, delicious Huayan dish. <laughs> <laughs> so what better to have than ban ep? Ban loosely translates to cake, and ep means to flatten, so this is quite literally flattened cake. From my understanding, it's made of tapioca that is all balled up into these tiny little things that are pre-prepared thrown onto a griddle that looks a lot like the ones that you use to make tortillas. And then there is normally quail or regular eggs added on top, some spring onions, and potentially some meat or fish. And then it's also served with a killer hot sauce and fish sauce, which she asked if we wanted it extra spicy and I said yes, and that might have been a mistake. Too much explanation, not enough eating. Really? Smells good. It tastes like there's lemongrass in it. Mm -hmm. They're really good. They are very gluttonous, a lot more than I expected. They're really chewy. I think it's because they're tapioca. Tapioca is traditionally a little bit more chewy. And the bun lock that we had earlier was also made out of tapioca, I believe. But the difference between this is that it's fried, not steamed. Spicy fish sauce, the winner in my books. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. I could happily eat these breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I honestly see how these are such an iconic food. They're a little bit harder to find, and it was worth the walk. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with our journey and where we are in the world. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or leave us some comments with what your favorite parts of this video were. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.